the undercut tool and temporarily place it into the primary hole. Check the bearing sleeve to concrete surface for full contact and absence of obstructions. Remove the undercut tool from the primary hole and install it in the drill motor. Insert the tool into the primary hole. Do not push the tool into the hole using the drill. Push using the tool's bearing sleeve. Pushing on the bearing sleeve instead of the drill motor eases the insertion of the undercut tool because the blades stay fully retracted. Note the position of the indicator pin. It is at the top of the slot. Make sure the bearing is in contact with the surface of the concrete. Without applying downward pressure, start the drill motor. Once the drilling has begun, apply a steady downward pressure to the drill. This will extend the cutting tool blades and start the conical undercut. Observe the location of the indicator pin. It may be necessary to stop the drill to verify the pin location. The undercut is complete when the indicator pin is at the end of its travel. When the undercut is complete, stop the drill motor and remove the tool from the hole. Inspect the tool blades to be sure that they were not damaged during drilling operation. Clean the undercut hole of concrete dust and debris. Remember, when using compressed air for this purpose, turn the air on only enough to sufficiently remove the concrete dust. Remember to clean the surface of the concrete area where the attachment will be placed.